Hello people, um, as you can hear I'm mic'd up so my voice will sound deeper and sexier. Um, reason being, I'm going to be moving around, um, got some things over there I need to pick up and it's just good with mic if you are a YouTuber and you're not using a mic, get one. Cancels out wind when you are on the fields at car boots. You can go different places, you know, if you're going around the shed or whatever, and obviously your sound will always stay the same. So yeah, this cost me a hundred quid off eBay. You know, it's a no brainer. Quality sells and um, yeah, quality of your videos, the more people are gonna watch. So I've got two parts to the video today. One is about the whole uproar in eBay. Some of you might've heard about it, about the costs, um, um, selling costs and actually eBay rising the costs. I'll tell you about that a bit um, later. And also I have just picked up, you've probably seen it on the thumbnail, a massive Wii bundle. And I'm gonna tell you how much I'm gonna be making from it. I, I didn't even know I was gonna make this much, but I knew it was gonna make probably double, but it's well over double, well over. So we're gonna go through the eBay thing first. You might have heard about eBay have now took off fees for people selling clothes. Does this really matter to me? No, because one, I'm a business seller, so it's only for private people, you know, the general public. Two, do I sell that many clothes? No, I'm not a clothing seller, so it's not really gonna affect me that much because I only pick up clothes that I feel like are gonna sell quickly or high quality ones, you know, depends on what you can get, you know. I don't go rummaging around every charity shop, car boot, looking at every piece of clothing. I have certain areas I like. So if they haven't gotten any of them, I won't even look at the clothes. I see a lot of people moaning and groaning saying, oh, it's affecting us, it is not fair. Why are they doing this to us? Um, just get over it. If you are doing it as a side hustle, it's great for you. You've now got Vinted and eBay. So you've got, you've got the whole world where you can sell your clothes. I can imagine now the bosses of Vinted um, pooing their pants a bit because eBay is massive compared to Vinted, multinational. You can sell all over the place and Vinted's not like that. Are people gonna go to eBay over Vinted? I don't think they will. Vinted's got it pretty sus. They've got that cool um, vibe about them. Um, and eBay is a bit of a dinosaur. It does seem to be a bit lagging behind. It just copies whatever's going with the trends. And they don't do it for you, the consumer the customer, the buyer, the seller. They do it for themselves. All they care about is what money they can make. The thing is, there's always two sides of the story. You might feel like this is great for the general public, which is great. It is great. Bit more money in your pocket. I don't mind that, you know. They're just selling their own stuff. There is a lot of resellers I know who make out their business sellers and they're not, they still got private accounts. Don't know how they're getting away with it when they've got to do it on tax, unless they're just absolute rubbish at uh, reselling and not making no money at all, then they can get away with it. Fair enough, if you're not making much money, you don't need to be a business. I've heard rumors that people are gonna go back to private from their business, which you can't do. You'll have to set up a new account and then you'll have two accounts or you'll have to close your business one down, don't know, but, why? If you're a reseller and you're moaning about a couple of pence here and there, you shouldn't be a reseller. You're picking stuff up if you're good at your job for nothing. You should be picking up pieces of clothing for less than a fiver and making, what, 20 quid, 30 quid, 40 quid. And you're moaning about a couple of pennies. If you're like that, you need to get out of reselling because you're just moaning about pennies and it's just stupid. But 
I did get a message on one of my videos commenting about um, he's just found out that eBay have actually rose their prices for business sellers without telling us. And I didn't know anything about it. You knew you should get emails, but don't we? We usually get emails saying the, what's coming out and what new um, things are going to be coming to eBay, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'm going to get it on because I screenshot it. Um, so it's from Steve Jones. So there you go, mate. There's a shout out for you. And he's put, John, spread the word. Just off the phone to eBay today as my final value charge fees didn't add up. Guess what? As from April um, the 8th, eBay are now increasing their fees from 30p to, wait for it, 36p. And on top of that, 4p fee for whatever. So basically, if you're a business seller, you're now paying 40p instead of 30p. Which, it adds up, I suppose, if you're selling lots and lots of stuff. You know, all them 10p's in there add up. But he's saying it's a problem to him because he only sells stuff which are like 10 to 20 quids. So I message him saying, up your game, make sure you sell more higher price things. Just get on the walk game. You make money from it. Um, somebody else said they've picked up two walkers this week um, for five quid each and they're just waiting for them to sell. Mate, they will sell, but don't come on my territory because I am the god of the walkers. Remember, I am Chuck Norris of the walker game. If so, if you're moaning about businesses and all oh, this and that and this, get out of reselling. I know this sounds very hard and some of you might not like it, but if you're moaning about fees, you need to be quiet because they're a business. If it wasn't for eBay, you wouldn't be selling anything. You can't go to a petrol station and go, whoa, the petrol's gone up. That's it now. I'm not using you anymore. Do you think they're gonna go, oh, no, no, we'll lower it down, no. They'll go, go on then, see you in a few days when you've got no petrol and you can't get to work. They know this because they know we need them. If we're a business, we sell stuff. And if you're good enough at your job, you shouldn't be even worried about fees. What do you think businesses do? They pay fees on shops and wages. We don't have to pay any shop fees. We don't have to pay any wage fees. We don't have to pay the massive amount of taxes that they do because we're self-employed, you know? So if you're moaning about it, just bump your prices up a little bit. Yeah? Every, everything what you'll see on eBay will probably rise up a couple of pounds, I guarantee. But yeah, that's what's happening. Vinted Pro, I hope it comes out in the next few months because that will be interesting. And if it is successful, you're gonna see everybody on eBay go into Vinted Pro. I'll be on both. Um, but I just feel like eBay always sells more. It's like last week, 37 sales, seven on Vinted, the rest eBay. So just shows that eBay are kings. But yeah, as soon as that comes out, it will be quite interesting because if it's successful, guess what? eBay will follow them and maybe they might do something for business sellers. So we don't know. But in the end of the day, I don't care because if I'm picking up something for what you're going to see, what is the big deal of a couple of pennies or a couple of pound when I'm making two, three hundred quid profit? So then I'm going to show you what I bought today and it's a big, nice bundle. So as you can see, I have picked up a load of stuff. This is all separated into different boxes, but I've, I've now separated into different boxes, so this wasn't like it before. This is what it's gonna be sold as. That's gonna be one, and that's gonna be another one. These are both gonna be sold, right? And then this is gonna be separate, this is a separate, 
and then the games are going to be separate. I bought this whole bundle for 60 quid. I did try and knock them down because I had to travel to the next town, which cost me £10 in petrol, well, five quid in petrol, uh, so I tried to get it for 50. She didn't want it, so I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to make double the money anyway. I looked at what is, quick look, thought, wow, there's two Wii's, two Wii boards, God knows how many games, nunchucks, three or four nunchucks each, um, some good games, some obviously utensils, stuff like this, you know, all the bats, um, and it all works. And you know, if you've ever picked up something from uh, Facebook, you're dreading where it is, especially if you don't know where it is. I was driving now thinking, please be a nice area, please be a nice area, don't be a ghetto, don't be a ghetto. Drove up, nice big, five bedroom house, Bit brand new BMW, brand, <laughs> brand new Mercedes, and I went, yes, they're gonna have some good stuff, you know. So, let me in your house, lovely woman, absolutely lovely woman. She had three kids, so, and they all had a wee, each. She goes, I, I spoiled them, and yeah, they was spoiled because now they've all got Xboxes. I had to turn off the camera because my son decided to come to the toilet and I don't think you want to hear him having a dunk. So, yeah, <laughs> I had to uh, turn it off. But, um, yeah, I bought this lot for 60 quid. And in the bundles, you're looking at one is a, a blue. We, the other is just a plain white one. Like I say, you could probably got, I think it's like three or four um, controllers each. Uh Docking stations each, one's got a new one, one's got a four one with a Wii docking station where you can plug in as well, pretty cool. The one has got a lot of like more, I would say adult games, so it's got like your Call of Duty's more shooting games, so I put all the, uh, the shooting utensils, utensils, accessories, um, and also the Wii Sports one in there, so I put all the bats in that one. The other one is more of a kiddies one. So you've got stuff like Ratatouille, uh, Animal Crossing, uh, Sims, We Play, uh, We Fit, because we've got the We Fit boards on both. We Fit, Mario, Sonic game, um, and also a load of Lego Harry Potter games. So. Um, there's about about 12 games, 12 or 13 games in each one. Also pretty cool stuff like this. You know, I never knew you could get these for the Wii. I would have always, I would have got one of these if I had a Wii now. Well, I've got a Wii now. Um, yeah, loads of uh, protection. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, pretty much good bundles. I've looked on eBay because bundles can vary, you know, depending on what's in there, what how, what games and everything. I've took out the good games. The ones I'm selling separately are good games and I've got some really good games, you know, ones that will sell all easy. So um, I've seen them bundles like these go for a hundred pounds because it's very similar, but the bundle, what you see on the screen, is for eight games. So I've got more games. So I'm, I'm thinking about putting on for about 110, 20. Will I get it? I don't know, but I'll put offers on and then they can buy it or not. There was so many accessories in there, you know, and nice things, and it's in really good condition. So that is one thing. So 200 quid already. Because they had another Wii, I thought, well, what's the point of putting um, a power block and the sensor with that? It's just, it's never going to be used. That has never been used. So that's going to be new. I'm going to put that together. These fetch around five quid, a power block five to 10, but it's new. So it's a, I would say it's going to be a tenner. And then obviously the, uh, whatever you call that is. But um, I'm going to put that on for a, like 12.99 because it's new so there's another 12 quid then 
I've got this. Found out what this is. I, um, there's GoldenEye, and this actually came with GoldenEye. It was like a, a box set where you get the game and a golden controller. Absolutely cool. I didn't know they did controllers like this because I never liked Wii controllers, but I always liked proper car controllers like this. You can, I could sell the game with this, but I just feel like, yeah, who wants to buy that game? I don't like James Bond games, but this sells for about 20 quid. With the game, probably 25 quid, but I thought, I'm not gonna put that in with that because I'm never gonna get the money this is worth in a bundle. That will sell quick because luckily it's lovely. Then, these sell for about five quid each. You can sell them too on eBay for a tenner. I also got these. These are Mario, obviously Kart, best game ever invented. 15, 15. This has not been opened because you can see the seal. I don't know if you can see it. Seals on it. Sleeves just fetch as much as these. So if this has not been opened, I actually probably could sell this for a little bit more. They go for around the same price. So I'm gonna bundle this up. This one's gonna be with one of the steering wheels and this one's gonna be with the other steering wheel for 20 quid each. Are you adding all this up? Because I'm making a lot of money here. So let's go for the last few games that I'm gonna sell separately. The reason I'm selling these separately because they are not worthy of a bundle, if you know what I mean. These are worth selling by themselves because they get a bit of money. Um, if I put these in with a bundle, I'm going to lose out. One of the first games is Mario Galaxy. This will fetch £10. £9.99 all day long. I didn't know this fetch 20 quid. Wii Party still fetches 20 quid. And it's an old game. Hours of fun, hours of arguments. The cheapest game, Wii Resorts. You're going about six, seven quid for that. But I thought, I'm not going to put it with the bundle because somebody will buy that and it's got good sell rate. Another 15 quid game, Super Mario Bros. Classic, one of the originals. 15 quid all day long. And then something I am looking out for all the time is this one. This one is Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is the one with an extra disc. It's like a tutorial one. Um, so it's a bit more expensive than just the standard game. Standard games, you're probably looking around 15, 20 quid. This one, you're looking around 25 quid for this. Brand new, if you can find one of these sealed, one is sold for 80 quid. Absolute crazy prices. But yeah, there we go. That is the bundle. Pretty good, I have to admit, for Wii. And Wii's, people like go, oh, it's, you know, we want the, we want the Sega Saturns, we want the GameCubes and that. Yes, we all want them, but trying to find one of them for cheap, you're not. Wii's, you see them all the time, everywhere. And people usually are selling them for about 20 quid you know, just for the Wii console. I Like I said, I paid 60 quid for this and I thought, yeah, I'm easy gonna double this. I'm gonna sell one for about 60 quid, break it up, 60 quid, that'll do, that'll pay for the stuff. And then I thought, the other one, I will make my money. I was completely wrong, because I didn't look at the games. She didn't put the games out, like, so you could see them, I just saw, big pile of games um, and then when I got back home I saw some of their games and I went the games are gonna pay for the whole stuff anyway so I hope you've been adding up because if you have if you are thinking I'm gonna make oh, 150 you're wrong if you think I'm gonna be making 250 you're wrong I'm going to be making £132. That's what I've added it all up as if I sell this. So if I sold this now, obviously the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to make about 130 quid. Obviously take off fees and take off what I paid for it. But I'm going to get 
130 quid back. And that is what you need to do. Bundles, bundles, bundles. Bundles are so much better to buy than single things because if you can buy something, and I'm, I'm telling you now, this is the biggest tip you could ever have as a reseller, as somebody new. If you're going to a car boot, especially car boots, you can't do it in charity shop. If you're going to a car boot and you're at one stall, don't do this. I've done it loads of times where you see one item, you go, oh, I like that. And then you go, oh, how much is this? And you buy it. Don't. Pick that up and then look and ask how much it is. Then look around what else there is. Because if you can find other stuff that you like and can make you money, then it's a bundle. Then you say, how much is this? How much is this? Say if one was 20 quid and one was 30 quid. I don't know. It could be anything. I know. You could say, well, that's, that's 50 quid. Oh, we do 40 quid or 35 quid. You know, be cheeky. You know, that's still a lot of money. And then if they say, nah, I'll say, well, I'll, you know, okay, then we're about 40 quid. They'll probably take it. And then you've just had £10 knocked off. If you would have bought that separately, they wouldn't have knocked all that money off. So, yeah, get bundles. Obviously, Facebook markets and all that, like, you can still haggle on there. I didn't with this one, but I, you know what? I don't mind not um, haggling for the extra 10 quid because, yeah, I've just made over 300 quid for this little bundle. Anyway, I've waffled on for too much. Comment down below what you think of the bundle. Comment down what you think of eBay. Comment down if you're still moaning because you're... Fees are going up by a couple of pence. Um, and if you're interested in any of the stuff I, I see, I, I know Jenna, she, who I know, she's asked about this top, uh, but she hasn't got back to me. I know somebody's asked about the Under Armour top. If you're watching today, Kaji doesn't want it. Um, but I was only selling it to him because he's a mate. So it's mate rates. If you want it, I can get 24 quid all day long for that. So if you want it, you can have it for 15 quid. But you have to tell me like in the next day or so because I will be putting it on. It's not on at the moment. So let me know and then we obviously I can get your details and we um, can get it shipped to you. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, share it to everybody. I mean everybody, your mom, your dad, your gran, your uncles, your dog, your cat, your goldfish, your guinea pig, even go next door and knock on their house and say, Oi, you, go and subscribe to John Shepherd Sales because he is the legend. Yes, Kaji, I am the legend. He is a goat. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going now. Bye-bye.